Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Cheerwing Cheer X2. Uh, now this is another one of these little itty bitty nano quads that stores in the transmitter. Um, this one is just a little bit bigger than the uh, current world's smallest. I think it may be about the size of that uh, JJRC H2, I think it was. Um, but I really like the look of it. It kind of looks like, I don't know, a little frog or something maybe kind of a neat look and it has these unique uh, props that are kind of fatter on the blades there so pretty cool look and it comes in green so I was a big fan of that um, like I said it stores in the transmitter here so you can you can put the quad in there and then the uh, sticks also go onto these pegs there so when um, you've got it all stored up it's you know nice and flat and fit in your backpack or whatever uh, so pretty neat there uh, we'll go ahead and continue talking about the transmitter. So we got on the uh, left bumper here, you have change your rates, and you've got three different rates, and the yaw rate changes, and it's crazy fast. I don't know if you ever saw my review of the Cheer X1, uh, but it was sort of the same thing. Like, on high rates, the yaw rate is just insanely fast, um, just like really stunty sort of yaw rate. And then on the uh, right bumper, you've got flips. So you hit the right bumper and then move the right stick in whatever direction you want to flip. Uh, we've got headless mode. You press the uh, left face button here to turn on headless mode. And then the right face button here turns uh, is, is return to home, but that just uses headless mode, so it just flies backwards or whatever it thinks is backwards. Um, you can recalibrate it by holding both sticks to the outside corners like that. That'll recalibrate the accelerometer. Uh, it comes with a full set of spare props in there and then a USB charging cable. Uh, I'm not sure how big the battery is, but it takes 32 minutes to charge and you get four minute and 20 second long flights with a 10 second LVC warning. And it, it's a pretty heavy little quad for a Nano, uh, so it you know takes like about 80% throttle or so to hold a hover. Uh, so it feels a little bit heavy in the air, and with that crazy yaw rate, it's not exactly that flyable. It's, it's kind of just for going crazy with and doing silly stunts and spinning around and stuff. Um, oh, and then we'll go ahead and turn it on. You can look at the LEDs. Um, kind of hard to see in my lights here so you've got those eyes are blue and then it kind of in the corner of the arm is blue as well and then in the back they are green so kind of an interesting color layout and then when it's actually running when you got the throttle turned on and the motors are running all the motor pods are red so kind of interesting with the LED color choice and stuff uh, let's see, any more details about this one? Uh, no, that covers all the details, and like I said, it's kind of a weird flyer, so, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and show it off, and you can see what you think of it. So, let's go check it out. Alright, this is a flight review of the Cheerwing Cheer X2. Uh, I think this is essentially another version of the world's smallest quad but this one's a little bit different design stores in the transmitter but the transmitter is a little bit different than the other ones too and it's a pretty neat looking little guy it kind of looks like a little frog or something uh, but if you saw my review a while back of the cheer x1 uh, these things have really weird flight characteristics it's kind of like a i don't know like stunt style quadcopter I mean, uh, high rates, yaw rates, insanely fast, like unflyably fast, so it's really just best for just kind of going crazy and doing stunts with, not exactly the best for just kind of normal uh, circuit flying. Let's see, we're... Okay. Alright, I'm in low rates. And let's see, if I got it facing the right way. The, both sides kind of look the same. So yeah, we got blue LEDs in the front and green in the back. And go ahead and give her a spin. Okay, so this is low rates, yaw. So not bad there on low rates. I guess it's, it's pretty flyable on low rates. 
Let's do some flips. That's with the uh, right bumper and then move the right stick. Nice, tight, fast flips. All right. Oh yeah, and then while it's flying, it's got red LEDs on the motor pods that only light up when they're actually powered up. So now there's medium rates yaw rate, so already getting pretty fast. There's a medium rates funnel, nice and tight. Look at that, that's pretty much right around one motor. All right, and let's, okay, so there's medium rates yaw rate and then high rates. <laughs> it's just spinning like a top. Look at that high rates funnel. That's ridiculous. But yeah, it's kind of hard to actually fly in that rate because it wants to spin out. That's doable. I'm afraid of getting too crazy with it and then I'm losing this thing behind something. But yeah, it's, it's doable. But yeah, high rates is really meant just for, you know, going crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Let's go back on low rates. Low rates is flyable. So yeah, I mean, the, the first the Cheer X1 was kind of not flyable on any rates. And on low rates and medium rates, this thing's actually still pretty flyable. So pretty neat. Pretty neat little quad. Let's go to medium rates. Still a little bit of a tendency to over yaw, but not bad at all. Really nice funnel and medium rates. That's awesome. That's pretty much right around that one motor. Whoa! Pretty cool little quad. I like it. It looks neat too. I really like the design. Looks like a frog or some kind of you know little reptile or bug or something. Gives it some personality. All right, let's take her in for a landing. Let's uh, do that on low rates. There we go, a little hop. And there we go, cool little guy. A little Cheer X2 stores in the transmitter. And super tiny little guy. I like it, not bad at all. It's got, you know, kind of flyable and then also has crazy stunts, super fast yaw rate. Not bad at all, pretty fun little thing. All right, we'll check the video description for price and purchase link. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.